afternoon. Welcome back to the uh, Chouan, southwest of France. I'm just uh, on my way down to uh, top up Dave's water. So, uh, yeah, thank you for all your comments about Dave, about the situation. Much appreciated. Uh, yeah, it's, a, it's an awkward situation, isn't it? I am in a pickle. Um, yeah, so I've... Uh, Hello, mate. How are you doing? How's it going? Talking about you, not to you. Um, yeah, so, yeah, in a pickle with uh, what to uh, what to do. I think I'm going to have to speak to the owner. And, um, yeah, so I've been having a think, and uh, I think I lose. <laughs> um, no matter what happens, I'm going to lose out. Um, I don't mind losing out if things get better for Dave. Um, so, yeah, I think the farmer, if I speak to him, is either gonna put him down, get rid of him. Uh, he could, in theory, put him on his land near the sheep um, or near some chickens. Um, either way, he's gonna disappear from this field uh, because, well, I'm assuming he will do something because um, he could do nothing couldn't he? he can just leave the situation as it is and then then we're still in a pickle and I've got no other animals around I did reach out to a couple of people haven't heard back from them yet um, so yeah it's just a sort of wait and see situation so I'll speak to the farmer and then we'll go from there but anyway he's got a bucket of water now he's standing next to it so I'll pop his water I've been a busy boy this morning, I'll show you what I've been up to.
So hopefully, after what I've done this morning, this wall is now sorted. Um, yeah, God, that was that was hard work. That was tough going. Um, I'm so glad it's done. I'm pretty sure that is that wall as solid as I can get it. Um, I've done the best I can. It's not fantastic, but judging by the look of the wall to start with, it wasn't built particularly well, whenever it was built 100 years ago or whenever. So anyway, that wall is as strong as it can be. Um, so now I feel reasonably confident that I can knock a hole through somewhere in there for the flue to go through for this wood stove. Yeah, still loads to think about the wood stove. I'm not even gonna think about it this afternoon. Um, but at least I know the wall's solid, or as solid as it can be. Um, yeah, so just quickly, this table, I've cleaned it off as much as I can, and uh, I'm no longer gonna uh, use it as a workbench. Uh, it's had a bit of a tough life this last four years, actually, and the top is not in great condition. It really could do with stripping and uh, recoating, but um, yeah, that's not on my mind to do that just yet. So, right, the future of this table. See, next to it is a chair. And the reason I put that chair there is because when you come in from outside, bear in mind this is my only entrance to the house, it's fine in lovely dry weather, but when it's wet, you're going to want to come off, uh, come in and take your shoes off straight away. So you're going to want to sit down. And I don't particularly want chairs by the back door. So my idea is to make this the world's largest coffee table, basically. Uh, Cut the legs down, leave it on wheels, but cut the legs down so the top is at the same height as the seat. And I'll, I'll keep it on wheels, and maybe I won't go really low, um, yeah, just as high as this. So, just so when you come in, you can sit down, or I can sit down and take off my Wellington boots, or put my shoes on to go out. Um, but it, it'll turn a piece of furniture that really I've got no use for and has no real value. They're, they're not in high demand, and if they are in high demand, they're really cheap. Um, so I don't want to give it away either. Um, so I'll turn a piece of furniture that I've got no real use for into something that is usable for me. Because look where it can go. It can go there, and not only is it something to sit on when I come in, it is a table at the end of the day. I could put pictures on it. I can put, not that I've got a TV, but a TV could go on it. I could put books on it, I could put loads of things on it, and I can move it around and I can eat off of it as well, do you know what I mean? And it'd still be a table, so it still has loads of use for me. Yeah, I could find another table, but then I've got to go and get it, I've got to sort something out with this, go and get rid of it, and it's like, it's just hassle, isn't it? I've already got this, you know, a saw in 15 minutes, and um, that's going to be a bit closer to the ground. And also, there's a couple of things in the house that I kind of think belong in the house. It's, uh, it's a weird, it's a weird emotion. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know what the deal is, but anyway, there is six of those chairs that go with that table. And that table, a bit like that door. That's the old front door. They kind of belong in the house. I've got this sense that they belong in the house. I've got four of those chairs up, upstairs in the loft and two of them still using downstairs. They're covered in paint and scratches, and you know, they're, they've had a hard, hard life for the last four years as well. I mean, look at the state of them. I've soared halfway down that leg. And uh, yeah, as I say, they're covered in paint. So they would need to be completely renovated by someone anyway. So I might as well just hang on to all of it um, for the time being. And if someone needs it, or you know, I could do someone a favor, then there's some chairs. I don't need six chairs. There's loads of chairs over in a wood, wood store as well, isn't there? Uh, the same with the same with the back door, front door, whatever door it is. I mean, that's more of a gate than a door, but it is oak. The same as the table, the oak. You know, they weigh an absolute ton. Um, so that door has no real use at the moment, but maybe I can clean it up and it'll become a table for outside, or I can cut it down and it could be do doors in the house somewhere. I don't know, but I do feel it needs to belong in the house. The same with the table. So I'm going to hang on to it. And um, I'm going to get busy with the saw, I think, over the weekend. <laughs> so, let me know in the comments. Don't give me thumbs up, thumbs down. That's no good. That just ruins the channel. But, um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Am I barking up the right tree or am I barking mad? Um, so, please like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.